Yo, 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 what's going on? Dub P with Buzz TV. Ready to give y'all my predictions on this super fire battle with RBE. Salute to Lawrence. Salute to ARP. Salute to that whole camp. Man, I know ARP got the bag, man. Let me hold something. Got the bag to get all these cats on this card. That's phenomenal. August 18, 2018 at 1 p.m. Y'all check this out. Sway 7 verse B dot. Um... This is probably going to be top two to three best battles of the night. These two right here. Because, for one, Swave never... i probably seen him slack one time in the ring. That's it. Every other time, he's coming with his A game. B-Dot, I haven't seen B-Dot whack. His last couple battles was fire. His, his battle with him and... Uh, Emerson Kennedy was dope. Shout out to Emerson Kennedy, both of them. But this, I'm edging this one to B dot. This one does this this is does more for B dot. His stat goes up more. He be Swave. Yes, yeah, does something for Swave too, but it does more for B dot for him to beat someone like Swave. So I think uh, he's gonna be a little bit more hungrier than Swave. It's going to come out who's who's more hungry. I think we're going to see the same Swave as we did with him in Saga. Because he definitely came with a Saga. A lot of people had Swave winning that battle. I believe I had Swave losing that battle, though. Um, that he still barked on uh, he still barked on Saga. He he tried to get had some evil bars in that battle. Dope battle. But um, I think b Dow's going to be going to be ready for that. He's going to have to he's going to be ready. They're going to be ready. For war. And I giving it to B Dot. Uh Ill Will versus Big T. Man, this is gonna be another good battle. Um It's been a while since I seen Big T on the stage. Uh I know this is not quite the 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 huge uh the big auditorium stage that you know you know uh, uh, on another league, but Big T normally shines on a smaller smaller stage, right? smaller crowd but it's gonna feel like a big the big stage because it's gonna be star studded in there a lot of people going to this battle i heard a lot of different entertainers and stars different a-listers is gonna be there so you gotta be on your a-game but big t is going to lose this battle big t will get around but I don't think it's gonna be enough for ill will. And I'm just I'll just base this on the last battles, last couple battles I've seen from both of them. It's been a while since I've seen Big T, but Ill Will is a little bit more well rounded when it comes. Uh when it comes to this battle, I believe. Yeah, Big T got the comedy and everything, but Big T, he doesn't need the aggression, but that's part that's what Ill Will can also he could bark on you if you want to. He he, funny. He can scheme. He can rebuttal. Uh, I'm not saying Big T can't do that, but that's not really his style to do that. And if he's gonna do it, excuse me. If he's gonna do it, I mean, don't. Ex I mean, if you feel like you just experimenting and then it may not go over, then don't even try it. Because if you mess up, it's like you give a, you give Big Will an inch, he's gonna take a mile. So I'm giving this battle to uh, Ill Will, Paste versus Danny Myers. Salute to Pat State, man. Pat State, State traveling, coming out. He ain't scared to go nowhere. Of any smoke. He, he, if you say you, if you want this smoke, Pat State is there. Um, Pat State is definitely on his way to legend status. Pat State is a dangerous dude. Dangerous dude. He cannot be, you can't really punk him. You can't use, you can't bark on him on that stage. Calico tried it, but I, it kind of went against him. Now, and Calico ended up losing that battle too. He just ended up he just ended up looking a little stupid. So the Calico it is what it is, but he lost that battle. Um, but Paste, you're going up against somebody who has this is this is Danny Myers' power that no a lot of other people don't have. Maybe one or two. Now, Danny Myers has the power to body anybody. Now, some people can just make him beats. Everyone's beatable, but not everyone, you know, can, can body someone. Danny has the ability to body anybody in the league, in any league. 
I've never seen Danny Myers slacking at all. Danny Myers, you can tell, you see his passion that he loves this. And you can tell in his bars and everything that he does. He doesn't even have to, be, you know, rebuttal on freestyle, which is still dangerous. And Paste can definitely do that. It ain't going uh, Paste doesn't have enough, I don't think, for, for Danny. For Paste to win this battle, Danny has to almost throw away a round. But if we get the same Danny, it's going to be hard, you know. But we'll see. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm giving this battle to Danny Myers. Iron Solomon versus Big K. Ooh, this is going to be another favorite right here. Um, Iron Solomon definitely a legend. One of the, he's very well-rounded. Probably top three most intelligent in battle rappers in every league. He studies you. He know. I mean, he 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 knows what he's doing in that ring. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna just come in there. You ain't. He's not one. You ain't gonna just bark on him. He ain't gonna run from you. You ain't gonna really out scheme him. And in this battle, it's not even. Some people say, "Well, it's preference." No, no, because he can adapt to any style. Um, Big K is definitely on his way to be, you know, two legend status. I don't think he's quite there yet. Big K, I think, is the top of his class of if in that style the, of the, like the. Just the, the punching, 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 like, you know, the, the B Magics, the Conceited. It's been a while since Conceited been in the ring, but um, but this battle does more for Big K if Big K beats Iron Solomon, you know. Um, but I know Iron has uh, another battle that I think the week before or something like that. So um, I don't think that's going to affect this battle because Big K is somebody you do not want to sleep on. But. Iron Solomon, I'm giving this battle to Iron Solomon. Iron. Big K might get around, though. Do not play him for no fool. And Big K, you're going to have to do something a little different. Don't give us no mixtape bars. I feel like you gave us mixtape bars on that last battle. You just start. I expect more from you. You know what I'm saying? You are great at what you do, and you are expected to... If, you, if you're always going to do something great, that's what we're going to expect. But when you're going to give us some throwaway bars or mixtape bars, I know you're not the first to do it. It's been other legends to do it, but we're talking about you right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Step your game up and and come with it. And if you prove me wrong and beat Iron, I come right back on here and be a man of my word and say you won. But I don't think that's going to happen. Next battle. King Los versus Daylight not going to be at the battle. I know y'all probably heard that. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I will say this. If King Los was to battle Daylight, I think this made the most sense. If you're going to choose someone to battle King Los, salute to King Los. You know, have some uh, industry. And the, in the industry still comes from the battle culture. I haven't seen a lot of his battles or anything like that. But that means a lot. And you know King Los has bars for days. And he cares about the craft and, and the culture and everything. He does a lot. So, salute. I just think him and Daylight Styles matched up so well that, that I think this battle could be a, a classic that you can keep like, watching and keep watching. And not just a throwaway. Watch once and that's it. Um, I don't know what's happening with that. Uh, you know, we're trying to find out right now. ARP, you hear this? We already got at you before. I'll, I'll check the message to see if you got back. I mean, what, what's happening with this? But I did actually hear if this is going to happen. King Los versus Head Ice. Head Ice has been in his bag lately. This is the thing. I'm not even going to stretch this part out too long. I got Head Ice in his battle. And I've never seen King Los in that ring. But let's just talk about stage presence alone. Head Ice demands his respect. That's a hard to just stand in front of when you're there. So if it's just off that, I'll give it to Head Ice. Does he got bar scheme? He can bark on you, but Head Ice, his presence, his 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 voice, his demeanor up there. That's a whole lot to go against. I know it seems like I'm just going with Head Ice. I, don't, I haven't seen a lot for King Lowe's, but I just I watch. You know what I'm saying? I've I've, I've heard I've heard Head Ice bar now Lowe's. If we talking about you were. You, matching your bars head up. I 
can't even say I got you all day. You definitely are nice. You come off the top of down. You definitely, that could probably be your strong spot right there, rebuttaling. So, you know, we'll see. But I, I, I have had ice. Salute to uh, uh, both of those cats. Uh, main event, main event, main event. Murder Mook versus Averb. Let me say this real quick. I've been hearing a lot of talk, including my brother Bridge, talking about for if Mook, for Mook to beat Averb and keep his stature, he has to 3-0 Averb. Okay. How many of y'all think, well, no, Mook is a legend? How many of y'all think, no, Averb is a legend? Okay. Now, two legends are going at it. Great at what they do. Why does Mook... I don't believe Mook has to 3-0 Verb. If you, if, you, if you win two rounds, you win two rounds and lose one. You still you won, that, you won that battle. For the most part. Depends on how the battle was good the whole time and how powerful the round could be. But you do not have to 3-0 Verb. I don't, I don't agree with that. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that. But you do not have to 3-0 Verb. For that, that's just so many people that wants to see uh, Mook lose and everything. Now the same rules apply. The same rules apply. Um. Well, anyway, this battle right here, Aver. No matter, you know, I believe this. This battle means a lot for Aver. This battle means a lot for Mook too, but it means more for Aver if he wins. I'm gonna go off the last couple battles. Oh man. I'm going to go with Mook because Verb has been disappointing me a little bit lately. You know, now if I see that same old Verb, hey, prove me wrong. I'll come right back on here and be like, look, I was wrong. Mook lost. I don't see, I don't see Mook losing this battle. I also don't see Mook 3-0-ing Verb at all. And if Mook beats Verb 2-1... Mook's stature stays where it's at. It doesn't go down. If Mook loses to Verb, it goes down. Um, that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all uh, what y'all think down there in the comments. It's your boy, Dub P, Buzz TV. I'm out.